Anytime you see me on my channel with my money gun, you have to know we are talking about something very, 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 very serious. Whether you just started trading Forex two days ago or you've been trading for 10 years, the highest thing everyone uses in Forex to trade is what they call the Japanese candlestick pattern. And since I want you to be able to start making that money in Forex as soon as possible, that is why this video is dedicated. This entire video is dedicated to teach you on how to use the Japanese stick candlestick patterns to generate signals. So at the end of this video, you will be able to generate your own signals, all right? If you've joined Telegram groups or Telegram channels or Instagram and you're buying, uh, you're buying signals from these fake gurus, by the the end of this video i promise you you'll be able to generate your own signal i'm going to teach you step by step on how you can generate your own forex signals to be able to make that money in trading all right so with that being said let's get into the video hello everyone my name is indema zagolov on this channel, we talk everything about trading business, personal finance, and tips to help you stay profitable as a Forex trader. So if this is your first time coming to my channel, then consider hitting the subscribe button below so that you can always be updated when I come out with content like this. Without taking much of your time, let's see what we have on today's uh, video. On today's video, we're just going to go straight to the point. And we're going to be talking about what is a Japanese candlestick. We're going to be talking about that's the definition and the structure. Trust me, anything you do in Forex, generating your own signals, or even if you copy signals from somewhere, you still use the Japanese uh, the Japanese stick to be able to trade those signals. So we're going to talk about the definition, the structure, the Japanese stick candlestick patterns. Because if you were, well, if you are able to generate a signal in Forex, what you use, if you are a technical trader, trust me, I've already spoken about the different types of Forex traders. If you are a technical trader, which 80% of Forex traders are technical traders, what you use to be able to generate those signals, what you use to be able to generate those alert, that indicator, okay, this is the time to buy or to sell, is what they call the Japanese stick, candlestick patterns. It's what they call a, a candlestick patterns. So a particular pattern can form, uh, you can be monitoring a particular pattern, and once that particular pattern forms, it shows you that the market can be going up or it shows you that the market can be going down. So we're going to talk detailly about the Japanese candlestick pattern. Under the Japanese candlestick patterns, we'll talk about basic candlestick patterns. We'll talk about single candlestick patterns. We'll talk about dua or double candlestick patterns. We'll talk about triple candlestick uh, patterns and we'll also go on a live chat. We'll go on MT4 and we'll be able to demonstrate everything we've been talking about on a live chat. Chat. So also do that before uh, the end of this video. All right. So let's see. They say, what is a Japanese candlestick? As simple as it is. You can see on my board, I have some things going up and down. Then here I have one funny guy, one funny looking guy here. So the Japanese candlestick is called the. It is called the Japanese candlestick because it was discovered in Japan. As easy as that. Because in the 1980s, the highest thing which was being traded in Japan was rice. So they wanted a way in which they could easily predict their rice prices. They could e easily predict the future prices of rice. So this guy came up with, uh, he came up with, the, this guy, uh, Steph Nixon, discovered the Japanese candlestick. And what is a, a candlestick in general? Remember, a candlestick is a form of forex chart. We already spoke on my previous videos. If you haven't watched, please go back and watch those videos so that you can be able to understand what I'm talking about. On my previous video, I did explain about different types of forex chart and the evolution of a forex chart. The forex chart when it started, the first one we just had was what they call uh, was what they call a line chart. A line chart is just something like this, which is just a graphical representation of price over time. All right. After the line chart, what what happened is. Traders were unable to know the open price, the close price, the high and the low of a particular period. So they came up with what they call a bar chart. With a bar chart, a bar chart looks like this. It has bars and the bars looks like this. You see, the bars look like this. So with a bar chart, a bar chart will look like this. And with a bar chart, you see, with this one, they were able to know the open price. They were able to know the close price. They were able to know the high price and they were able to know the low price of that particular period. If we're talking about a four hour time frame, they were able to have those details. Good. Since they discovered now the bar chart, the bar chart wasn't easily readable. It wasn't easily readable. So they came up now with a modification of a bar 
chard. And that modification of a bar chard was what they call a candlestick. All right, is what they call a candlestick. So that is how a candlestick was discovered, or that is how a candlestick came into existence. Because you can see here we have a candlestick, and you can see this one is easily readable. You can easily know the bearish candle, you can easily know the bullish candle, you can easily know the gold. So you can easily read this candle, and within a particular period, you can know the open price, you can know the close price, you can know the high, you can know the low, which are details you can see if you are using a line chart. All right, so a Japanese candlestick candle is just a modification of a bar chart which is easily readable and easily interpretable all right so with that being said that is how a japanese candlestick was discovered or that is how uh, that is why uh, it is called the japanese candlestick uh, pattern with that being said let's see uh, let's go to uh, uh, the japanese candlestick structure so you can still call it the structure or the anatomy of a Japanese candlestick, the anatomy. What? The, how is it made up of? Because here we have a, a, a Japan. You have a bullish candlestick. Let me go back. Here we have a bullish candlestick, and here we have a bearish candlestick. And on today's video, on today's video, let me make this very clear, so that uh, the more you keep hearing about this word, at least you should be familiar with. I'm using. I'm already using the word, assuming that you already know most of this concept. If I'm talking about a bullish candle. A bullish candle, it means that is a candle. That is a candle which was in an increasing market. A bullish candle is a green candle or a candle which is in an increasing market when the market was actually going up, when the buyers were actually active. And anytime I talk of a bearish, a bearish, anytime I talk of a bearish candle, bullish is like this, all right? Bullish candle, it means the market was actually going up. And anytime I talk of a bearish, a bearish market it means the market was actually going down and the way this the way the bullish and the bearish is formed the bearish stand the, the bullish stands for it comes from a bull anytime a bull a bull fights all right it it it, it that means if he wants to kick you if a bull wants wants to kick you it kicks you from below with the horn so it fights it fights like this it fights from from below or from below to top all right that is how a bull fights so anytime a market is going up they call it a bull market because that is how a bull fight. And anytime a market, if a bear is fighting, a bear tries to smash you on the ground. A bear try to, that is why this one is from a bearish market. That is how that is that is how the bullish and the bearish came into place. All right. So anytime I say a bullish market, it means the market is going up. And anytime I say a bearish market, it means we are talking about a decreasing market. I just want you to understand that. And anytime I talk about mark of about, uh, we're going to also be using demand and supply because that is the basics behind in the any market movement. That is the basic. Other factors like news, uh, economic data, political and social social economical factors, they can and other they can only support the demand and supply of a particular currency because if you see a chart going up the main factor behind that chart going up is demand and supply is the is the effect of demand and supply on that particular currency pair all right so we're going to be using those terms i just wanted to make it very clear so that as we are going ahead you'll be able to understand uh, what is going on all right with that being said let's see the structure of a japanese candlestick you can see the bearish candle here we have this sign which is like this this one is an increasing candle and this one from year to year is a decreasing candle all right so we have a bullish candle and we have a bearish candle and for a bull for any candle for you to be able to call any candle a bullish candle which is an increasing candle it means the closing price of that candle is higher than the, the open price so the, the the price open let's just assume at this level this was 1.5 and the closing price at this level now is 1.8. So you see, the closing price is higher than the opening price, meaning the market opens at a lower price and closes at a higher price. At the end of the day, be between that particular period, if we are using this as a four hour time frame, that means between this particular period, the market was actually appreciating. Between this particular period, the, 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 the buyers were in control. All right, and anytime the buyers are in control, anytime the buyers are in control, what happened? The price increases. So the buyers were actually in control here. And even within this period, within this period, the market was able to push up to this particular level, to put, push up to this particular level, but the sellers came in, pushed the market down to this particular level, producing what they call the high. 
So even though the market closes at this particular level, the buyers were able to push the market up to this particular level, but the sellers came in, more supply came in, outweighs the demand, then the market was pushed back to this particular level, producing what they call the weak, all right? Producing what they call the weak. You can call this the weak or the shadow, the shadow of the candle. So this is the weak or the shadow of the candle. The same thing happens below. Even though the market uh, the market was open here. There was a within that within that four hour period because this candle stands for four hours. Or if we are talking of a daily time frame, this candle will stand for one day. So with let's just assume this is a four hour time. I mean, even within that four hour time period, even though the market was open here, here we have our open. Even though the market open here, but there was a point in time where sellers tried to come in. Sellers tried to come in, or more supply came in, and the price dropped. The price dropped right down to this particular level, but buyers say no. They came into the market and they counteracted that force, pushed the price back to this particular level, producing what they call what? A low. All right? So here, how, what, how, the main terms you should be able to take from here, we have what they call the open price. All right? We have the open price. We have the close, the open price, which is the price, the Magda particular candle. If we're talking of the four hour time frame, it is the price that particular candle opens. All right, we have the open price, we have the closing price. So by the end of four hours, by the end of four hours, if we are talking about four hour time frame, what price does that particular candle close? And then even within that period, what is the higher price which the market was able to attain? We have what we call the market high. And within that period, what was the lower price the market was able to attain? We have what we call the market low. All right. So you have to be able to take down these four keywords. We're going to be using them over and over throughout this course, throughout this uh, episode of candlesticks, which will cover everything you need to know about candlesticks from A to Z. From the start to the end, everything you need to know about candlesticks will be covered on this particular video, all right? So with that being said, you have to be able to take down these four keywords, all right? So, and what, how, why is it even called a Japanese candlestick, all right? Somebody, I, I hope most of you already know why it is called a Japanese candlestick. Why? Because you can see, I already explained this candle, explained this candle, and this is a normal candle in real life. All right, this is how a normal candle, when you light a candle in your house, it looks the same like this. Within that candle, you have what they call the body of the candle. This is, this is what they call the body of the candle. This is the body of the candle, and this is the body of this candle. The same thing is the body, the same thing is the body. All right, this is the body of the candle, this is the body of the candle. The same thing here, this is the body of the candle. And we are talking about the wick. This is the wick of the candle. This is the wick of the candle. And here, where you see the light, where you see the light is the wick of the candle. All right, so that is how the name also came into place because the structure of those bars look exactly as a candle. That is why they call it a candlestick. And since it was discovered in Japan, they call it a Japanese candlestick pattern. And the same explanation I gave for a bullish candle is the same explanation that goes for a bearish candle. But the only difference between a bullish and a bearish candle is that for a bearish candle, since it is it is it it it, indica it indicates a, a decrease in the market, it means the closing price will be lower than the opening price. So let's just assume if this was 1.6, 1.6, which was our open price, you can see the market actually dropped from there to here. If this was 1.6, then the closing price will be around 1.5. Meaning the market opens here, but before it closed, the price was lower than this. And if the open price is, the closing price is lower than the open price, it means the within that particular period, the currency exchange rate was actually dropping. And if the currency exchange rate was dropping, what is it going to form? It forms a bearish market. And we can see here, we also have our low and we also have our high. All right. I hope I've been very clear on that particular one. Let's go to the next thing. So now let's talk about what is the most important thing on today's video, which is candlesticks pattern. Please, please follow me carefully, step by step. And by the end of this video, you're going to be able to, to create your own candlestick patterns. All right. By the end of this video, you're going to be sorry. By the end of this video, you will be able to create your own signals. You'll be able to open your MT4 and create basic signal and place trade without asking for, 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 and without relying on any other person to show you those signals. That is why on this channel, you know me very well. You know the, 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 the logo or the acronym of this channel. On this channel, 
I teach you how to fish instead of giving you fish. And part of teaching you how to fish, by the end of this video, you're going to be able to fish by yourself. You're going to be able to create those signals by yourself. Those signals you see people say, come and join my signal group, come and do this. I'm going to teach you by the end of this video. I, if you don't know how to if you don't know how to create those signals by the end of these videos then i don't i don't, I, I, I don't think i'm qualified to stand here and teach you guys so please follow me step by step and one thing that will enable you to be able to generate those signals by the end of this video that will enable you to start making money in forex is what they call candlestick patterns candlestick patterns if you can understand candlestick patterns today detailly then I'll be so so happy and what is a candlestick patterns anytime you open your mt4 right you can see here we have our mt4 chart anytime you open your mt4 and you see the chart going up and down you see the prices going up and down what will enable you to be able to say no okay this is time for me to buy or this is time for me to sell will be a particular pattern that particular pattern can be something we have here maybe a spinning top or maybe it's maybe a spinning bottom or a spinning top don't worry about these names we'll come i'll come to treat i'll come to tell you guys about each uh, about every other candlestick patterns which we have so it is a pattern that will enable you to be able to generate those signals. And you have to be able to have experience. You need a lot of experience to be able to tell patterns that work and patterns that don't work. Because many patterns are formed in the market. If we are talking about a daily time frame, within a day, you have hundreds of patterns that will be formed. But now you need experience to be able to choose patterns that work and patterns that don't work. Because some patterns, if you choose without having experience, you might blow up your account. But there are some patterns that are very clear that with experience, you'll be able to know you can you can bet all your account with confidence, knowing that these are what we call magical patterns. So talking about patterns, let's start with, uh, we're going to have four types of patterns. With, by the end of this uh, episode of the candlestick bible or everything about the candlestick we have four different types of patterns which one of these patterns one or a combination of the, these patterns can give you the ability to buy or sell a particular currency pair the first type of patterns we have is what we call basic candlestick patterns from the from how the name goes basic candlestick that means it's just a basic candlestick pattern that will show you that will tell you to buy or sell and coming about coming on basic candlestick pattern the first one we have here is what we call the spinning tops all right is what they call the spinning top and what does the spinning tops looks like that that's what i say it shows indecision between buyers and sellers i'll explain to you guys about this one very soon spinning tops are usually potential reversal patterns all right let me explain let me let's come with me this is what they call spinning tops it can either be a green a red or a blue or a black candle green will always stand for a bullish market and red will stand for a bearish market white will stand for a bullish market and black will stand for a bearish market so don't be confused when it comes to these colors all right so now come here with me you can see the market was actually going down and at this particular level we have what we call we have this particular candle this particular candle is what they call the spinning top the spinning top why for the character for you to be able to call a candle a spinning top the distance between the distance of the two weeks should almost be the same all right that means the two weeks should be the same you can see here we have a week this is a week and here from year to year we have a week I already explained to you guys the meaning of a week. A week is just the, a week or the shadow of the candle. And the body, you can see the body of the candle, the body, this is the body of the candle. The body of the candle is very, very small, while the week of the candle is very long. All right, we have weeks, we have weeks of the candle on the opposite, on the opposite side of the body. And let me explain to you, to you guys why, how this candle is like this. The open price, since this is bullish, since this is a bullish candle, the open price was somewhere here. And the closing price is just still here because the, the open and the closing represent the body of the candle. So this was the open price and this was the closing price. So the market opens here and it push right up to this particular level. And what and what happened? Immediately push right up to this particular level. What happened? The, 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 the sellers came in and pushed the market back to this particular level. On the opposite side, the sellers pushed the market right down to this particular level. What happened? The buyers came in, pushed the market back to this particular level. So you can see a force, you can see a counteracting force that is happening. The sellers are pushing the market down and the buyers are pushing the market up. So at the end of the day, if we are talking of a four hour time frame, by the end of four hours, 
there was an indecision this is the key word you should be able to pick from this from this type of uh, patterns there was an indecision in the market so there was no decision nobody if we're talking of a talk of war by the end of four hours nobody won the battle all right so by the end of four hours there was there, there, there was no winner so there was an indecision in the market for you to really say okay the buyers were in control or the sellers were in control so anytime you see a candle like this a candle like this forming that is a potential reversal signal oh no not a signal yet don't sorry about that not a signal it's still a sign so anytime you see a candle like this that is a potential reversal sign what you have to be able to watch is the next candle that comes after that all right if the next candle that comes after this let's just assume the market is going the market is going up the market is going up like this then you see a candle like this form the next candle that comes after this will determine will be what we call the confirmation candle if the next candle that comes after this is still a bullish candle it's still a bullish candle that is still going up it shows you that there are still more buyers in the market so after the fierce battle between the buyers and the seller which there was an indecision here the buyers are still in control if you have a bullish candle all right let me change the, let me change the color so that you can better understand uh let me change the color so good so if after if the market has been going up and after you see uh, a spinning top you see a candle like this if you see a candle like this something it's going to be something like this exactly like this if you see a candle like this with the week here and the week here so this is an example of a bullish candle if you see a candle like this after this one what does this signify it signifies that the 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 the, 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 the after the indecision candle more buyers have come into the market and anytime you know there are more buyers in the market the only decision you should be doing is buying the only thing you should be doing is buying anytime you know buyers are in control the only thing you should be doing is buying all right so this should be a potential this this is a sign this is a this is a sign to tell you that okay a signal is to be formed then the confirmation candle is this one so if it comes on and it's bullish this is a signal all of this now is it combines to form what they call a signal all right to form a signal and what signal is from here a buy signal so you see how simple you see how simple this thing is you just choose to make it complicated people just choose to make it complicated for you but this is how simple it is it is it is as simple as this when you are able to explain it to someone or when you know how to deliver the information to someone it is as simple as this go to your mt4 open your mt4 you're going to see the same thing over and over the same patterns over and over all right now we're talking about a, a, a buy signal let's talk about a sell signal all right let's go back to a sell signal so let's go back here and pick red because red is red is let's pick a red candle so let's pick red and if the market is going up remember we're talking of the market going up and then at the, after this candle you see a candle form like this good you see a candle form this is a typical example you see a candle form exactly like this with a week here and the week here let me put the week so you see a candle form like this with the week this is going to be totally red with the week here and the week here this is what this is a kind of uh, a candlestick we have we call uh, a bearish engulfing candle or let's just call it a bearish candle so if you see a candle like this after an indecision candle this was an indecision candle then after that indecision candle you see a candle like this forming what does it tell you it tells you after that indecision after that indecision after the buyers and the ag after the buyers and the seller agrees to disagree the people who came after that and won the battles were what the sellers so there were more sellers uh, there were more there were, there were more sellers in the market after this fierce battle and if there are more sellers in the market it means there is more supply anytime there are more sellers in the market and there is more supply the only thing you should be doing is to be selling so at that particular point in time you should have sell somewhere here you put your take profit somewhere here stop loss somewhere you put your take profit sorry somewhere here stop loss here and that is it and that is what what that generates a buy signal all right as easy as that that is how you can easily generate a signal but this is just the tip of the iceberg this is just the tip of the iceberg we, we, we are still coming to more interesting patterns this is just the tip we are coming to more interesting and very reliable patterns that you can easily see so with that being said you can see here let's put our color somewhere uh, let's put it somewhere here yes so you can see here this is the same pattern here this is the same explanation i was giving you the same thing happened here 
But the same thing, the market was going down. Then after this, this indecision candle opened, where there was no decision between the buyers and the seller. And then what happened after that? You saw this candle kick came in. This is another pattern. So we had a combination of two different patterns. This pattern is called a hammer. All right, this is called a hammer. A hammer came in and a, ha a, a hammer is a key reversal signal. So a hammer came in indicating that even though there was an indecision year, the decision year is that the next candle that was formed, more buyers came into the market, but uh, sellers came into the market. You can see the sellers push the market right down to this particular level, but the buyers push the market up, forming this particular candle. Anytime you see a candle in the market like this, all right, because this is an example. This is if I have to enlarge this candle, this is how it looks. So, anytime you see a particular candle like this, this is a key reversal sign. This is a key. Uh, uh, bear, uh, bullish reversal sign because it shows you that even though the, the buyers or even though the sellers push the market right down to this place, the buyers push it back to this particular. And at the end of the day, the people who won the battle were the buyers. So immediately after that, what happened? The market went up. So you would have bought somewhere here, stop loss here, take profit, you are already out of the trade. Then those are spinning bottom because it happens at the bottom. This is the same, the same explanation goes for spinning tops. The market was going up. After the market was going up, it, what happened? You, you see what we call spinning, uh, spinning tops. Spinning, this is the same candle, the same. This was still an indecision candle. You can be you can see the two indecision candle on the same place. Because you can see this was the first indecision candle. And this was the second indecision candle. And now we are waiting. We are waiting to see what the next candle is going to tell us. Because the next candle is going to be the confirmation candle. And the next candle, see what happened. The next candle was a heavy drop in the market. And if I have to enlarge here, you see the market drop right down to this particular place. So you would have sold somewhere here. You put your stop loss somewhere here. Take profit here. The risk to reward of maybe one is to five. And you are already out of the trade. As simple as that. As simple as that all right so that is that about that particular pattern let's go to another pattern which is called uh, another form of a basic uh, candlestick pattern which is called the marubuzu all right the marubuzu you can see anytime you see a candlestick like this this is just how it looks a marubuzu has no wick the only difference the only thing you have to be able to know about this pattern is that it has no wick oh uh, let me oh sorry about that let me go back here so it has no weak, no weak, uh, no weak or oh, shadow. So it doesn't have a shadow. That is the characteristics of this candlestick. Because you can see, as simple as this, it doesn't have any weak or any, any shadow. It means if the market was open, the market was open here, you can see the buyers came in. This was the open and the close for a bullish candle. And this was the open and the close for a bearish candle. What happened? You can see for, for, for the Marubuzu, the market, it means the market open here and the market, the buyers, the strong, the, the force of the, the buyers was so powerful. So there was no room for the sellers to even take any share of the market. And the same thing happened here. The market opens here and there was a big fall. This normally happens maybe after news or when there is high volatility in the market. The market opened here and there was a heavy fall. That means there was no room for the buyers to even, to even have any share of the market. So the sellers were completely in control or supply was, the su supply dominated this particular market. So the same explanation is for this. The same explanation goes for this one. The market opens here and the buyers came in immediately pushing the market up, giving no room for the sellers to even control any share of the market. All right. And anytime you see this kind of candle, if you are in a bullish market, if you are in a bullish trend, let's talk about trends. If you are in a bullish trend and you see this kind of candle, then it means the pressure, the buying pressure in the market is still stronger than the selling pressure. And anytime you see this particular, uh, uh, this particular structure in a bearish market, it means the selling pressure in the market is still stronger than the buying pressure. All right. What if we are in a downtrend? What if the market is actually going down and then we see something like this? What happened after that? It means this is the first signal. If the market is actually going down, the market is actually red, and then out of a sudden, you see a candle like this. What does it indicate? This is the first sign. This is the first sign of reversal. Remember, I said for a signal to be generated, you need a first sign, then a confirmation. All right? That is the formula. You need a first, you need a structure. For a signal to be generated, there are three things involved. You need a structure, you need a sign, and you need the signal. 
So the rating, the first one you need here is a structure. So if we're talking about uh, uh, trading, maybe we're using support and resistance. Maybe we're using key level. Maybe we're using demand and supply levels. Then we're waiting for the market to get to that particular level. When the market gets to that particular level, let's just assume the market was actually falling. Then when it gets to that particular level, you see it can do like this. What does it indicate? It means the buyers are, con are totally in control. That is the first sign. Then after that, since we already know the buyers are totally in control, if the next candle that comes after this is a bullish candle, is still another bullish candle, that is a buying signal. That, that is a buying signal. So we've had our structure, our, our sign, then our signal. The, the, it goes like this, structure, sign, and signal, all right? Our structure, we can be using support and resistance. Then the first sign you, you can have here is this candlestick pattern, which here we're talking about the marabuzo, all right? Then the signal will be the confirmation of the sign, and then the next candle that will come after this. So that is how you can see, they say the marabuzo just means there is no weak or shadow from the bodies of the candle. It has, no, it has just the body, no weak or shadow. A marabuzo can either be a continuation, it can either be a continuation or a reversal sign, depending on where it appears on the chart. I already explained. If the market is actually going up and you see a candle like this, it is a confirmation that there is still high buy pressure in the market. And if the market is going down and you see some a, a candle like this, the red one it means there is still uh, high selling pressure in the market and if the opposite happens the market is actually going down and you see this instead it means even though the market was falling the buyers have jumped in the, the, the buyers have come into the market and they are now having a greater share of the market the same thing will happen if the market if the market is bullish and you see this red one the same thing let's this is our mt5 all right and if we have to check our mt5 see what happened the market was actually going down the same thing I was explaining. The market was actually going down, and at this level, what happened? See, this is the candle. It has no weight. That is why it's called the marabuzu. All right? It, here, you see, the, 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 the same candlestick pattern happened. This is our first sign. The market was going down. We, can, we could be using, maybe this was our support and resistance. Our support and resistance. And we are waiting for the market to get to this particular uh, uh, support so that we'll, we'll have a confirmation to buy. When the market got to this particular support, what happened? We saw this bullish candle, this bullish marabu, uh, uh, marabuzo candle. Middle this uh, uh, bullish uh, marabuzo candle form, this is the, the first sign. The second sign is the next candle that came after that was still a bullish candle. We would have bought somewhere here. Bought, stop loss, take profit, boom. Would have, by this time, we must have been out of the trade by now. So you see, this is a key signal. That is how you combine structures, patterns, structures and patterns to be able to come up with a signal. The same thing happened here. The same thing happened. The market was actually going up from year to year. Let's, see, let's keep our support line. Let's keep our support and our resistance here, all right? This is our support and resistance because you can see the market is bouncing from year to year. So here, we are waiting. Let's just assume the market was still here. And we are waiting for the market to get here so that we can have a decision to either buy or sell. The market got here. What happened? When the market got here, we had the same candlestick pattern. We had the same pattern. And anytime, if I, I, I explain very clearly here, that if the market is actually going up, if the market is going up and you see this big falling candle, you see the bearish marabuzu, the red one. You see the bearish marabuzu. It means what? It means the buying pressure is already is already off. The the the, the buying pressure is finished, or the, the buying power is already finished, and the people who are in control at that particular point in time are the sellers. Or supply is more than demand at that particular level. And anytime supply is more than demand, what happened? The price will drop. The next candle the next candle came in and confirmed that the next candle that came was what we call an inner candle. All right, was what we call an inside out candle. And this is a key uh, candle that support that the market is going to find. After that, what happened? The market drops. All right, so you see how you can use this, uh, this, uh, this uh, single basic candlestick patterns to generate a signal. Let's go to the next one. The next one we have is what they call the dodge. The dodge, oh, sorry about that. Uh, let's go back. So the next one we have here is what they call the dodgy candle. The doji candle, the main, let's not waste time on this one. The doji candle is just a candle, it's just like a cross, it's just like this. So the key characteristics between a doji candle is that the open price, the open price and the close price, close price are all on the same level, all right? 
are all on the same level so the open price and the close price of a doji candle are all on the same level or they all have the open price and the close price is all the same if we have 1.5 here then the market open at this particular level at 1.5 and at the end of this period if we are talking of a four hour time frame by the end of this period the market closes at the same point but within this particular you can see the market went up here the sellers pushed the market back to the same buy, buying level this at this particular level the market came right down to this particular level the buyers pushed it back to this particular level so you see the, the sellers are pushing the market up the buyers the, the sellers are pushing the market down the buyers are pushing the market up at this particular level what what kind of candlestick is this an indecision candle nobody won no at the end of the day nobody won the battle the battle was was a neutral battle so anytime you see a dodgy candle anytime you see a dodgy candle you need to be very vigilant to, to watch the next candle that is coming after that that is why they say dodgy candles have the same open and close price the same open and close price this is something you have to note and then in this situation neither buyers nor sellers were able to gain control of the market the same thing i've explained to you guys and then always pay attention to the next candle that forms after a doji candle because that candle is what the confirmation candle good since i've already explained to you the characteristics of a doji candle come to my empty let's go to mt4 and see this is mt4 this is our MT4, our MT4 chart. You see the price is going up and down, up and down, up and down. And if we have this, our key support, our key resistance, we have another support here. Or we have another, we key, have this as key level, maybe key support one, support two. See what happened. The market was actually uh, uh, in a consolidation. And at this particular level, we have what? We have a doji candle. I mean, this the open price, the open and the close price of this candle was the same. So we have a doji candle here. And I said, if any time you see a doji candle, pay attention to the next candle that forms after that. The next person, the next candle that forms after that. If the buyers win the, the battle of the next candle, then that's that's a buy signal. And if the sellers win the battle of the next candle that comes after that, then that is what that is a sell signal. Immediately after the doji, what happened? Look, immediately after the doji was formed, what happened? We had a big, this we, we had a big ass bullish candle. And after this big, this big candle, this big candle, which was an indication that after there was an indecision between the market, the next candle that came was what? A bullish candle. What happened? See what happened after that? Boom, the market went up. This is not magic. It is, it happens every day. Open your MT4, do as many back testing as possible. And let me know on, on the comment section below how many signals you see, how many trades you would have taken, how much money you would have made if you knew about this this, this uh, these patterns or if you know how if you knew how to use this pattern accurately. There's a difference between knowing these patterns and knowing how to use them. Or there's a difference between explaining this pattern to someone and you knowing how to use this pattern to generate the right signal all right because see what happened here you would have uh, bought somewhere here put your stop loss here and your take profit somewhere here that's a risk to reward of about one is to five so if you are risking 100 dollars then you'll be making about 500 dollars by the end of the trade if you risk 100 dollars here by the end of the trade you'll be making about 500 dollars as simple as that even if you place the next trade and if it was if it was a loser you wouldn't mind even if you place the next four trade and they were all loser you wouldn't mind because you know one trade the one trade that you win will be able to do those all those small 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 losers that is why they say have small uh, small losers but heavy winners all right there can be sometimes even if my strategy gives me 40 percent accuracy i'll still be a profitable forex trader why because the one winner that i have We'll be able to bulldoze, we'll be able to cover, cover up all those small, small, small losers that I used to have. Because if you see, if you hear any person, any person comes up to you and the person tells you he or she is having a forex system or a strategy that doesn't make any losses or that doesn't make any, 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 any losses or doesn't place any losing trade then run away that person is trying to scam you or that person is trying to sell you something no matter the system you have in forex the system must be able to have some losing trade at the point in time but what gives us that the edge to keep on making money every day is the ability for that system to make more winners than uh, uh, than losers or the system for for the, the ability for that system to give us a risk to reward in such a, in such a way that the few winners that we have 
are able to cover up the small losers that we had. So at the end of the day, we will still come out profitable. So you see, that is simple. That is the doji. After that, you saw that is how the signal was generated. All right. Good. Let's go to now. We've already spoken about. Remember, I said there are four. There are four candlestick patterns that no matter what you are trading, no matter the kind of trader you are, you're going to use these four candlestick patterns to generate your signals. We've spoken about, uh, and the four candlestick patterns, we have basic candlestick patterns, which I have just explained. Under basic candlestick patterns, we have the doji, we've just explained the doji. We have uh, the marabuzu, we've also explained the marabuzu. And we also have spinning bottoms and spinning tops. You should be able to understand this very clearly. After that, after the, 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 the single, the basic candlestick patterns, let's go to what we call single candlestick patterns. That is a candlestick patterns in a, uh, which a single, that means in this particular candlestick pattern, you need just a confirmation of one candle to be able to give you a clear direction in which the market is going to take. All right. So with that being said, uh, under a uh, single candlestick pattern, you can see here we have what we call the hammer and the hanging man. All right. The hammer and the, hang the, 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 the hanging man. So this one is very, very clear. This one is very, the, the, it can either be bullish or bearish because here they say the candles have different meanings depending on past price action. For example, if the market is actually going down and then at the end of the trend, you see this part, you see the hanging man. That is a clear indication. This hanging man is also known as the kangaroo. It's also known as the kangaroo, the kangaroo tail. Maybe you've heard of this somewhere. It's also known as the kangaroo tail. And the kangaroo tail can either be formed at the support or at the resistance. And anytime you see a kangaroo tail, that is why it is having this long tail. A kangaroo tail, they call it kangaroo tail because it is a candle with this and then having this long tail. So you can call this the hanging man or the kangaroo tail. The hanging man can either occur at the support. Then when we go to the next pattern, you see what they call the shooting star. The shooting star can occur at the resistance, all right? So let's just assume the market is going down and you see this hanging man. What does this indicate? This is very clear. It means the market was open right because this is the body of the candle, this one. It means the market was open here. The, 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 the sellers came into the market, pushed the market right down to this particular place. And then the buyers came in with force, came in with buying pressure and pushed the market right up to this particular place, uh, right up to this particular price. And at the end of the day, the week of the candle, the week of the candle is longer than even the body of the candle. All right, showing, show, showing you what? Showing you the price in which, the, the force in which the buyers were, were using to, to, to counteract this market was more than the seller's uh, forces. And anytime you see this particular candle, if it occurs in the key resistance level, or if it occurs at the key support, that is a key confirmation of a reversal. All right, remember, I, I, I will always say this, for you to be able to have accurate signals, accurate signals using candlesticks make sure you combine candlesticks with a pattern make sure you con no make sure you combine candlesticks with a structure and the key structure the number one structure that you can combine candlestick with to, to have solid signal is what we call support and resistance so and whether you have a trend you have it you have an on uh, you have a channel whether you have a channel, a consolidation, a downtrend, or uptrend, you obviously have a support and a resistance. A support and resistance, you can have that, either have a trend that is like this, or you can have a trend that is sideways. No matter what it is, no matter any direction the trend have, you obviously have a support and a resistance, all right? So always combine, always, please, please note this down. Please note this down. This is very important. For you to be able to have solid signals, for you to be able to have solid signals, always combine candlestick patterns with a structure so now let me explain what i'm what i'm talking about here let's just assume you can see here we had uh, our resistance and here we have our support this is very clear we have our support here and we have our resistance here the market was actually going up and when it came to this particular level what happened what what happened we had a hanging man the hanging man showing showing show, this hanging man was showing you very clearly that the buying pressure was dying at this particular level. And after that, what happened? The market dropped immediately. All right? The market dropped immediately. Even when the market came back to the particular support here, there's another candlestick pattern that was formed. You have what we call an inner bar. 
we had an inner bar i will explain we're coming to this particular pattern that's why we won't pay more most attention to this particular one because here this is what we call an inner bar where the previous bar, uh, candle and the present candle are, are more than the candle in between so you had an inner bar and then after that you have what we call a bullish engulfing candle that was still a key signal and the market went up immediately all right so you can see when you are using support and resistance when the market gets to a particular uh, a, a particular uh, 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 support you look for a confirmation if you have a confirmation that confirmation will be given to you by a particular candlestick patterns that is why by the end of the video you'll be able to have an idea of all the candlestick patterns so that if the market comes back to the support on the channel i'll still teach you on how to draw the to on how to draw support and resistance levels accurately so you should be able to draw your support and resistance level accurately and when you're able to draw your support and resistance level accurately what you are using now to confirm as a confirmation to generate a signal is what they call candlestick patterns so a pattern will give you that confirmation to say okay remember the steps in the steps to generate a signal you have what they call a structure a sign you have what they call a structure a sign and a signal all right so those are the three things you have to be able to use our structure is support and resistance the sign we have here is what is a hanging man then the, after after the signal after after the sign we had which was a hanging man the signal is what a buy signal so let's start with the, the first the first anyway when we go to the next one which we have an engulfing candle that our, that will be able to uh, explain very well before we even go to the next type of a single candlestick pattern please if you are getting some value from this video please leave a thumb up on the video it's going to mean a lot if you are getting some value from the video please leave a thumb up on the video and if you forgot to to smash the uh, the, the subscribe button and you haven't subscribed up to now please hit the subscribe button below so that you, you can always be updated when i come up with content like this so if you have already subscribed and hit the thumb up let's move to the next uh to the next slide which on this slide we're going to be talking about the inverted hammer and the shooting star here the highest thing i want us to pay attention to is the shooting star all right is the shooting star Remember on the, our previous video, we did spoke of a hammer. A hammer is just the opposite. The hammer is just the opposite of a shooting star. A hammer will just be like this. All right? A hammer is just like that. So this is a hammer. This is a hammer and this is a shooting star. The reason why I say let's focus on this is because if you go through your MT4 and you do back testing, these two structures, number one and number two, the shooting star and the, and, and the hanging man, they never fail. All right, the shooting star and the, the hanging man, they never, they never ever fail. That is why, okay, let's just, uh, uh, let, let, let's go back, let's go back to uh, our MT5 and let me explain to you, let me show you why these two signals will never fail. And the structure, let's use support and resistance as a structure. Here we have, let's just assume here we have our support and here we have our resistance. And here we have our resistance. The market is bouncing here, bouncing here, bouncing here. When the market came back here, when the market came back at a particular support, at a particular resistance, we were looking for a buy signal. And that buy signal we were looking for, we had this particular one. This particular one is called a shooting star. It's called a shooting star. And the reason why it is called a shooting star is, is because you can see at this particular level, the candle was open somewhere here. This was the open price. This was the closed price. But within this time period, the market pushed up right up to this particular level. And then the, 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 the sellers came in and pushed the market back to this particular level. You can see how, so the week of the candle, the week of the candle is longer than the body of the candle because you can see the degree at which, the degree at which the sellers were able to push that market down. So this is the first sign we already have our structure, which is support and resistance. Now we are looking for a sign. Our sign is the shooting star. We already have a shooting star at a key level. So anytime you have a candle that looks like this at a key level, you should be looking for a reversal. If the market is bouncing on support and resistance and you have a shooting star, these are key points you should write down. Because when you do back testing, you see it over and over and over. Anytime you see a shooting star, occurring on a key structure occurring on a resistance if you see a shooting star that is a sell signal all right and if the market is going down and at a particular support support and resistance this is our resistance all right our resistance and here is our support 
So when the market comes back, if the market comes back to a support and you have now what we call a hanging man, a hanging man looks like this and you have a hanging man, if it occurs at a support, that is a key buy signal. So that is how you can, these signals are so, so powerful. The signal between, uh, the signal between a shooting star and the hanging man are so, so powerful. Because if the market, if I just open my MT4 and the market is bouncing on support and resistance, if the market gets, if the market goes up to uh, resistance and I see a, a shooting star, I sell without even thinking twice, all right? I sell without, because the support is, the resistance is already there. And then I've, I've had another point of confluence. And that point of confluence is a shooting star. I sell without even thinking. And if the market comes back to the particular support and I see a candle that looks like this, no matter the name, even if you can't remember the name, if the market comes back to the support and you see a candle that looks like this, you, you should be able to know the buyers are in control. Because see how the market went down to this particular level, but the buyers came in with force and pushed the market right up to that particular level. So the buyers are in control and you should be, if you buy at that, or if you buy at that particular level, you place your stop loss, go with the risk to reward of one is to two or one is to three. At the end of the day, 90% of the time, it will come out to be a winner or it will, it will come out to be a winning trade all right so with that being said let's see another one on that base uh, single candlestick patterns we also have what we call uh we already that is that about single candlestick patterns and let's just have a recap please even though the video we're trying to cover everything but i don't want you to lose track of anything all right i don't want you to look to lose track of anything because at the end of this video Search the whole of YouTube. Search the whole of Google. Anything you learn about candlestick, we're going to be able to cover it in this particular video and we'll cover it in, in the simpler way you can think of, in a simpler way you'll be able to understand. All right? So let's not lose track of what we are talking about. We already, we are, we, now we are talking about candlestick patterns and patterns are, are patterns, patterns are, you'll be able to generate a signal based on a particular pattern which you see. We've already sp we've spoken about basic candlestick patterns. We've spoken about single candlestick patterns, which you just need by one candle, like the shooting star or the hammer, which I just explained. You need but just one candle to confirm a reversal. We've spoken about that particular uh, candlestick pattern. Now we are talking about dua or double candlestick pattern. From just the name, it means you need at least a, a combination. You need a combination of two candles to form one pattern, all right? For a dua candlestick pattern, you need two candles two candlestick, uh, candlestick patterns, two candles to form uh, one pattern, one pattern. All right, so you need at least two, you need two candles. That is why it is called the dual candlestick patterns. As easy as that, there is no other explanation, as easy as that. That means for a dual candlestick pattern formation to be formed, you need at least two candles to form one pattern, all right? So now, let's since you've already understood how a dual candlestick pattern is formed, Let's, let's start with the most, the most used candlestick patterns in the whole of Forex, in the, whole, in the, in the Forex industry. In the Forex industry, the most used uh, double candlestick or the most used candlestick pattern is what they call engulfing candles. Alright? It's what they call engulfing candles. You're going to be able to, you, you're going to see this all the times, all the time, because anytime... The, the, the sellers came the, 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 the sellers come into the market and they gain a greater share of the market. Majority of the, the times they will form what they call a bearish can, a engulfing candle. And any times the buyers come into the market and they gain a greater share of the market. 90% or majority of the times they will form what they call a bullish engulfing candle. Let's explain from here, uh, from the candles on the board. You can see this one, the first one is a bullish engulfing candle and then the, this one is a bearish engulfing candle. Good. And the explanation, let's just assume the market is going down, right? The market is actually going down, going down. And then at this particular level, you see this particular candle. The characteristics, these are the characteristics of an engulfing candle. For you to be able to, to, to term a candle or to call a candle an engulfing candle, the candle, the next candle should completely engulf that is why it is called an engulfing candle. The next candle should completely engulf the previous candle. Because you can see here the bullish candle, the bullish candle was, was formed. And at the closing of that bullish candle, it completely engulfs. That means it completely covers the body. The body of the, the next candle should completely cover uh, the body of the previous candle. Don't, at this point in time, don't focus more on the weeks. 
you focus on the body of the candidate. So for a bullish engulfing candidate to be formed, the body of the, the, the present candidate, which is the bullish candidate, should completely cover or should completely engulf the previous candidate. And, and you can see, here the market was actually dropping. And at this particular level, the next candle that came out, which was a bullish candle, candle completely engulfs this one. So this pattern is called a bullish engulfing candle. And the same thing will happen for, uh, for the, the bearish engulfing candle will happen. If the market is actually going up, then out of a sudden, you see a big candle just completely engulf the bullish candle. The same thing happens here. The market is actually going up. Then when it gets to this particular candle, the next candle that came out completely was a, a bearish candle, which completely engulfs the, 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 the bullish candle and if the bearish if the, the candle that completely engulfs the next the, the previous one forms a particular pattern and at this particular uh, at this particular point you see the bearish candle completely engulfs the bullish candle forming what a bearish engulfing candle a bearish engulfing candle and now you can even see here if you were trading if if I was using a structure the system to generate a signal the system to generate a signal you need a structure, a sign, and a signal. So it, it has to be. It has to be this. You need a structure. You need a sign, and you need a signal. Our structure here. Let's just assume we're using support and resistance. The, the support is somewhere here, and when it gets to the support, the sign. The sign that we have is what a bullish engulfing a, or a, a bearish engulfing. That is a sign. And what is a signal? A sell signal. You can then send this to your telegram group you can then send this to your brother to your uncle to your mom who is trading and say okay mom buy this particular currency because that is a sell signal if you sell you can see here you, your stop loss will be able to go above that bullish engulfing candle and your take profit will go somewhere below depending on your risk appetite as simple as that i i enjoy if if you can if you can enjoy this content the way I enjoy presenting it to you, then I'll be so, so happy because this thing is so, so interesting when you're able to understand what is going on. So now this is our MT5, all right? I want to just explain uh, bullish and bearish engulfing candles on MT5. The market has been bouncing, 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 all right? And now let's start with the structure because what did I say? For you to be able to come up with a signal, you need a structure, a sign, then a signal confirmation good our structure here let's assume we have support and resistance this is our uh, our resistance and now we have our support the key levels that we can see we have our support somewhere here all right so this is our structure the market is bouncing here and here and here that is the first thing we have now is our structure now we are looking for a sign we are looking for a sign so the market came back the market came back here let's just assume if, we, if our support was here the market came the market came here and see what happened the market was actually in a consolidation was in a sideways in a sideways movement it was in a consolidation and at this particular level what happened we had a big bearish engulfing candle see how this candle completely completely swallow you see see how this candle completely swallow the previous candle that is what we call a bullish engulfing candle this is the same thing here as simple as that this is the same thing here so this candle completely swallows the, uh, this other candle forming what we call a bullish engulfing candle and anytime you have a bullish engulfing candle at a key support level you buy without even thinking twice all right so at this point in time you can see you are not you are not gambling again because you actually know what you are doing gambling only comes in if you are trading without knowing what you are doing because here you can see the market was actually consolidating and the sellers were in control but the buying pressure that came in here was so so powerful that is why you can see this arrow says bullish engulfing the buying pressure that came in here was so so powerful in a way that the, this candle completely the, the, the engulfing the engulfing of this candle by this one shows you that the buyers in the market are more than the sellers that means the buying pressure in the market is more than the selling pressure all right and anytime the buying pressure is more than the selling pressure it means demand is more than supply and anytime demand and supply anytime demand is uh, demand is greater than supply whether you are talking of a commodity or if a, 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 a or whether you are talking of a, co a, co a commodity or you are talking of an asset or you are talking of currencies if demand is greater than supply the price will go up whether you like it or not 
not. Those are the laws of economy. Those are the laws of trading. Those are the laws of demand and supply. All right. So at this point in time, you could already see that demand at this level is greater than supply. So you buy here without even thinking. You buy somewhere here, put your stop loss here, your take profit here, and boom, you would have already been out here with a profit. All right. So see what happened after that. After the market was going up, it gets down to, to this particular support level. We have this particular support level is what our structure. Now we are looking for a confirmation. When the market gets to this particular, uh, to this particular uh, uh, resistance level, when the market got to the particular resistance level, we had some consolidation. The first candle we had here, which could have even just given us a first. We already spoke about, we've already spoken about this candle. I even forgot to mention about it. So you see, a signal can either be, be, uh, be formed by, uh, with a combination with a combination of one, one pattern, or it can be formed with a, a combination of two patterns. The first pattern we have here is a shooting. It's a shooting star, all right? This is it. The first candle here, this candle is a shooting star. I already explained to you that this is how a shooting star looks. A shooting star is just a candle that looks like this. With a long wick, then with a hammer, with this, with, this, with this inverted hammer or a shooting star, it looks like this. And this is a key if this if a candle forms like this at a potential resistance level you have to sell without even thinking you have to sell because because the the buyers have already come in and they're pushing they're already pushing they're already pushing down the, the buyers are already pushing down the seller the sellers are already pushing down the buyers and they're going to win the battle and anytime sellers have won the battle it means the price will go down the first candle we had here which is this candle this candle here is a shooting star and I already explained, anytime you see a shooting star, what do you do? You sell. So, even if you were somebody who is very conservative, you would have still waited. When you, when you, were, still waiting, when you were still waiting, what happened? When you were still, still waiting, this other pattern forms here. Alright? This other pattern came in which was a bearish engulfing candle. And when the bearish engulfing candle came in, it completely engulfed this particular candle. And when it completely engulfed this particular candle, if you see a bearish engulfing candle at a key, at a key resistance level, which is what I explained here, if you see a bearish engulfing candle at a key resistance level, what you have to do is to sell without even thinking. All right, because it is already clear. If you are looking for a confirmation, the confirmation is already there. If you are looking for 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 for, for reasons to sell, the reasons are already there. So you sell. You can see here we had two patterns that were telling you to sell. So even if you didn't sell here and you actually leave that money on the table, then I think maybe trading is not for you. You should better just go and learn how to do carpentry. All right, because this thing is very clear and it, you, you can easily read it. You are not gambling because everything is clear. You know why the market is going down. You know why the market is going up. You know when to stay out of the market. You know when to go into the market. All right. So this was a key signal here. One signal. Second signal. You say even if you saw here, you say you put your take profit here. Your your stop. Uh, you put your stop loss here. Take profit here. That is a risk to reward of one is to five. Meaning, if you are risking uh, $10, you make $50. If you are risking $100, you make $500. As easy as that. As easy as that. So that is how you use uh, uh, engulfing candles. Engulfing candles, which is a form of a dual candlestick patterns to generate signals in Forex. All right. So now let's go to the other one, which is a tweezer. I like this one a lot. This is called tweezer bottoms or tweezer tops. The most important thing is that it's called the tweezer. If it occurs at the support, it is called tweezer bottom. And if it occurs at the resistance, it is called what? Tweezer tops. As easy as that. So how are tweezer forms? A tweezer is just a combination. Remember, we are under dual candlestick patterns. That means for any of these patterns to be formed, we need a combination of two candles, all right? And here, a tweezer, for a tweezer to be formed, we need a candlestick that look, look like this. All right, and if this form at a support, it will form what they call tweezer button. And if this form at a particular uh, resistance, it will form what they call a tweezer top. And this occurs all the time. And if the market is actually going down, and out of a sudden you see these two candlestick uh, uh, patterns, wait for this is the first sign. These two candlestick patterns will combine to give you a sign. And since remember the structure to form, you never you not hear this somewhere. These have been brought to you out of experience and the way, uh, because that is what works for me, all right? Uh, and the reason why I'm saying this is because if the market is going down 
and out of a sudden you see these two candles you see these two candles what is that we've already gotten our structure remember I, I said the most important structure you can use is support and resistance we are already using our support and resistance and then after we are looking now since we've already had the structure we are looking for a sign and if we have a sign and a confirmation obviously that is a signal so our sign now is what so that is a sign that is an alert to say okay let's let's wait to see what happened if you see this structure anytime you see tweezer button the next candle that comes after that should be able to give you a confirmation if the next candle that comes after that is a bullish candle then you have to buy that is a buy signal you have to buy buy somewhere here stop loss here take profit boom you are done and if the market is actually going up and at at, at, at a particular resistance you see a tweezer top if you see a tweezer top wait for a confirmation the tweezer top stands for a sign all right stands for a sign then wait for a confirmation if the confirmation comes out and it is a bearish candle sell without that is a sell uh, signal all right that is that is a sell signal put your take profit somewhere here stop loss somewhere here risk to the of one is to five boom you are done as easy as that so that is how you use tweezer bottoms and tweezer tops to be able to generate signal and i told you the reason why uh the, if they form at the particular support you call them tweezer bottom and if they form at the particular resistance you call them tweezer tops all right so here on this chart you can see here let's just call this our resistance and let's call this our support what happened here the market was actually going down and at this particular level here this square you have here stands for our tweezer bottom all right when the tweezer button happened, I said, what? Well, wait for the next candle. If the next candle comes out, and if it is a bullish candle, if it is a bullish candle, what do you do? You buy. The next candle comes out, and it was an increasing candle. So you would have bought somewhere here. You put your take profit somewhere here. This is a risk to reward of about one is two, of about one is to four. So if you are risking $100, you have about $400. You would have still come out of this trade with the winner all right so that is that about tweezer bottoms and tweezer tops let's go to what we call triple candlestick pattern we've spoken about single candlestick pattern or uh, uh, which are candlestick patterns in which you just need one candlestick to be able to confirm if the market is changing the direction or you just need one candlestick pattern to be able to give you a particular uh, signal all right after that, we move to dual candlestick pattern or double candlestick pattern that you need at least two candlesticks to be able to confirm to you that the market is changing direction or to be able to confirm to you a particular signal. Now we're talking of triple candlestick patterns that you need at least three candlesticks. You need at least three candlesticks to be able to confirm to you that this is a potential pattern all right so coming to triple candlesticks pattern we have what we call evening and morning stars evening and morning stars and what are the properties of the evening and the morning stars you see this consists of three candles all right so this consists of three candles with the first candle in the original trend so these are the properties of an evening or a morning star a, a morning star will occur at the bottom the same thing i explained the morning like in the morning the first thing the first thing when you wake up the first thing you witness is, is is the morning right before the evening so the morning star will, the morning star will occur at a particular support and the morning the evening star will occur at a particular uh, resistance so let's start with the morning star that means for a morning star for you to call that characteristics for you to term it the morning star the first candle must be in the direction of the trend the market is actually going down and the first candle here is what it's a bearish candle that's why it's a red candle it's a bearish candle and let's 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 finish the sentence so the first candle must be in the original trend direction second candle and the second candle is the indecision candle you can see this one i already explained to you guys the meaning of an indecision candle so the second candle is what an indecision candle because you can see the fierce the fierce battle between the, the buyers and the seller ended up with nobody winning the battle so it forms what they call an indecision candle all right and uh, then the third candle is what they call the confirmation candle you can see here they say and the last candle is a confirmation or a reversal candle all right so the combination of the three candles it has everything it has everything in one it's like three in one it has a sign it has a sign and it has a confirmation and the signal in one the first sign is that the candle the first candle must be in the direction of the trend all right the second candle is the indecision candle and the last candle is the confirmation candle so you test you confirm then you launch you test you confirm and you launch 
that is how a signal is generated in this particular system all right that is that about a bullish morning star and an evening morning star is the same explanation meaning if you want to form if you want to term, if you want to call a particular uh, structure an evening uh, an evening star it means the first candle must be bullish the first candle must be bullish so the first candle must be like this and in my colors so let me bring out my colors so the first candle must be like this all right the first candle must be like this let me change even the color of this one uh, to this so the first candle okay, uh, let me change the color of this all right so the first candle must be this we have this one good that is our first candle and then what is the property of the second candle the second candle must be an indecision candle as we assuming the market was going up and the first candle because we are talking of a triple candlestick pattern a candlestick pattern that can only be formed after the combination of three candlestick pattern the first candlestick must be in the direction of the trend and the direction of the trend was a bullish market that is why we have a bullish candlestick pattern the second candlestick is an indecision candle an indecision candle this is how an indecision let's change the color and then let's pick our color of an indecision candle all right so an indecision candle now will look like this uh, let's change this and let's pick this an indecision candle will look like this this is an this is an example of an indecision candle so after the bearish candle the second candle is an indecision candle and then the first candle was in the direction of the trend the second candle is an indecision candle this candle is an indecision candle and the third candle is a confirmation candle so if this is occurring at a particular uh, at a particular resistance then the can the third candle will look something like this all right the third candle will look something like this all right so the third candle will be something uh, like this so can you see this is a combination of uh, the combination of an evening star and even that is a combination of an evening star the first candle is in the direction of the trend second candle is an indecision candle and the third candle is a confirmation candle which is a bearish candle and what does this tell you to say this is the confirmation candle which is a bearish candle after the first and the second candle and at this particular level you say without even thinking twice all right so that is how an evening star is formed Let, let's go to our mt4 to see an example you can see here we have our mt4 the market was actually going down this is an example of a morning star this is an example of a morning star so the market was actually going down here we have our first candle which is in the direction of the trend the second candle which is an indecision candle you can see this second candle is an indecision candle this one this is the first candle number one number two is an indecision candle and number three is the confirmation candle which is uh, the confirmation candle and it is in the direction of the opposite uh, of the opposite trend since it is in the direction of the opposite trend it shows you that more buyers are in control it shows you that the buying pressure is more than the selling pressure so you would have buy at this particular level without even thinking twice stop loss here take profit boom you are already out of the trade as simple as that that is how you use that triple candlestick patterns to be able to generate signals another triple candlestick pattern we have here is what we call three white soldiers or uh, three black uh, uh, crowds all right so what is what is a three white three white soldiers three white soldiers uh, they say three white soldiers occur when long bullish candles follow a downtrend and then so when that if 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 we have a downtrend then out of a sudden you see some you see three three long bullish candle occur it means the soldiers that's why they call them the the white soldiers so if you actually have a downtrend then after that you see some some candles come out of out of nowhere some bullish bullish three candles come out of nowhere that is a reversal sign and that is called the white soldiers all right and the opposite when the opposite occurs it is called the black crowds when okay the opposite will occur when the market is actually going up then out of a sudden you see uh you see three 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 bearish candles you see some three bearish candle occur out of the blue see what happened here this is an example of white soldiers and for white soldiers i explain that if the market is going down if the market is actually going down and out of a sudden 
you see three three opposite candles three uh, bullish candles occur in the opposite direction on the same that is subsequently that means one candle follows the other it forms what they call white soldiers all right and the same thing remember if this was our key support and this was our key resistance then we're going to buy somewhere here without even thinking we're going to buy somewhere here this will be a signal so you actually press buy push stop loss take profit the same thing happened the market was going up this was an uptrend and when the market got to this particular resistance see what happened out of a blue the, the, the sellers came in with force. The sellers came in, they won the first battle, the second battle, the third battle. And they form what they call, they form a pattern which is called three black crowds. After these three black crowds, you see the market dropped immediately. You would have bought somewhere here. The market dropped immediately. All right. So they, they just form because the buying and the selling pressure is very, very high. And at that particular level, you are already setting that, okay, it is other demand is our win supply or supply is our win demand it is either the buying pressure is more than the selling pressure or it is either the selling pressure is more than the buying pressure and that confirmation can be gotten once you see this first pattern or this said this second pattern and they are key reversal patterns all right so i hope you guys are taking down the points at this particular level let's let's take a recap just like i said please don't be lost all right don't be lost at this particular level we have already spoken about we are talking about candlestick patterns and whether you like it or not any candlestick pattern which is formed or any signal which is given to you if you are somebody who likes to, uh, fish to be given to you if you are somebody who like to be spoon fed all right and if a signal is given to you the way that signal is generated 90 percent of the time is using the same patterns i am teaching you or you is using the same pattern i've taught you on this particular lesson of today we've spoken about single candlestick patterns which you just need one candlestick confirmation we're talking about we've spoken about double candlestick pat patterns you need a combination of two candles to form one pattern and we also talk of triple candlestick patterns that you need at least three candlesticks to confirm to give you a confirmation of a pattern now let's go to our mt5 let's go now we're talking like an abstract even though i'm giving you guys live demonstrations let's go to our mt5 so that i can be able to show you this example on mt5 let's go to our mt5 as if i, I, I was just starting trading today and generate signals all right let's go to our mt5 and be able to generate signals as if you were the one all right so with that being said let's go to our let's go to my chart so that i can be able to show you uh, most of these things okay so you can see here we are on our mt5 this is mt5 i'm using ic market all right and by the way if you want to use the same broker i use because i used to say very i say this every day you might know how to trade forex you might know how to do all the analysis you might know how to do how to come up with all these patterns but if you are not using the right tools if you are not using the right broker then there is no assurance that you will make any money in forex so if you want to use the right broker or the same broker i use then just go on the video description below and i've been able to uh, to come up with the same brokers i use even on my live videos that i do those are the same brokers that i use on a daily basis so just go on the video description and you'll be able to see a link to be able to sign up with any of those brokers with that being said we have our mt5 here and if we want to if we have to scroll on our mt5 let's just look for a key level let's just look for a key level to, to draw our support and resistance remember let's not forget the main the main goal behind for you to come up with any signal in forex you need a structure you need a sign and a confirmation all right you need a structure you need a sign and a confirmation let's so now we want to form we want to be able to generate signals let's just this is your first just as this is your first time generating a signal this is how you do it so we are on we are on great britain pound australian dollar and we want to generate signals from this chart all right so i'm just screwing i'm just going i'm looking for a structure all right i think i can be able to see a structure here all right good 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 i think there's a structure here so let me reduce this a little bit good 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 uh good so let me all right good perfect 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 so i like this you can see on my chart here let's just assume the current market price is where it is now but let's back test we are doing our back testing i want to show you how this you don't even you don't need to even go far to see the signals being generated over and over again that is why we are doing our back testing all right so let's do our back testing here to see what to see the signals would have generated 
The first back testing we have here, we have what? We have our sub. We've been able to draw our support and resistance. You can see this is our support. Uh, you can see this is our support. And here we have our resistance. The structure, the system to come up with this, with, with the system to come up with any signal. You have what? You have a structure. You need to be able to have a structure. Number one. You need to now have a sign, which is number two. And number three, you need a confirmation. A confirmation. All right? So this is the system to come up with any signal. I want us to be able to use the, sing, the, the same system to, de, to deduce a, a signal from this chart. So since you've already known that, uh, let's use the same system now to come up with a signal, all right? Good. Our structure, this is our structure, sorry, resistance. Uh, this is our structure, support and resistance. And now, let's just assume the market is somewhere here. The market is trading somewhere here. And we know that the, the resistance is somewhere. Uh, let me make it a little bit uh, good. Let's just assume the, the, resi the resistance is somewhere there and the market is currently trading at this level. Since the market is currently trading at this level, we are waiting for the market to get at this particular point so that we can see if there's a confirmation that the market will change direction here. Good. The market went up to the, when it got to this particular level, what happened? See, I want to be able to show you the same patterns we've spoken about. See, the same patterns occur. When the market got to this particular level, this, the first pattern we had was this pattern. What is this? This is an example of a shooting star. A shooting star. This is a shooting star. And where did that shooting star occur? The shooting star occur at the potential resistance. Anytime you see a shooting star occur at the potential resistance, that is a, a sell signal. All right. And if it occur at the potential, if it occur at the potential support, that is a buy signal. So the first signal we had here, the first sign we had here was this uh, was was this uh, uh, this shooting star. And immediately we had this shooting star, we would have sold somewhere here because immediately after the shooting star which is a sign you can still be conservative and wait for a confirmation waiting for a confirmation what happened after that we had this bearish marabuzu we've already spoken about the marabuzu the ma marabuzu all right we've already spoken about this candlestick pattern which is just something like this it's just something like this with little or no week after that shooting star what happened we had that same candle and anytime you see this same candle it means if if you see if it comes out and it is a bearish candle it means the bearish power the bearish pressure is higher than the buying than the bullish pressure the bearish pressure or the selling pressure is more than the buying pressure anytime the selling pressure is more than the buying pressure you sell so even if even if you were conservative and you didn't say here this was still a sign you would have sold somewhere here all right so you see how clear this is so this is already our big number one signal our big number one signal that it would have come out with at least if we if we are talking about this chart we would have come up with at least uh, 65 pips all right it would have come out with at least 65 pips good after you've placed your trade here and you're already out you knew very well you you know you, you know very well that this there's, there's still another support waiting for you down here the market is trading and coming down at this particular point in time you can see because this can be our a support is not just a line it can still be a zone this is our zone the whole of this zone stand for our our support zone the market came to this particular support and what happened you have a full you you the same candlestick that i explained up here the same candlestick which was a shooting star of course down here down here it is instead called the hanging man all right if of course up here is a shooting star and down here it is called the hanging man and i explained to you anytime you see a hanging man or called at the support at the particular support or anytime you see a candlestick even forgetting the name anytime you see a particular candlestick that looks like this it looks like this then with a long week it looks like this with a long week occurring at a particular support you have to buy without even thinking so you would have bought again here that is our second signal and you come up with at least 65 pips that's 65 you are you are already up you are already up with more than 120 pips that is not magic good come with me so now uh, we, we've been able to generate two signals using 
uh, which patterns we've used a shooting star and we've used the hanging man let's go to another pattern the market came back up here the market came back let me make our let me make my chart clean except the signals which have been generated this is the first signal and the, the first and the second signal good the market came up here when the market came back up here at the particular resistance what happened look at this candle very very clear what kind of candle is this what kind of candle is this long red candle this long red candle that shoots directly from the resistance down is called what that is strictly a bearish engulfing candle bearish uh, engulfing engulfing candle all right that is a bearish engulfing candle straight from the resistance see our resistance is there this thing is not magic it happens all the time you are the reason why you keep blowing your account every day is because you don't have that patience to understand the dynamics to understand what is going on because this thing happens every day see from the resistance what happened boom the market shoot directly down forming what we call a bearish engulfing candle and anytime you see a bearish engulfing candle occurring at the particular uh, uh, resistance that is a straight a strict uh, sell signal so you sell without even thinking twice so this is our third signal all right that is signal number three our tech signal and the bed the, the candlestick pattern which we were using here was what the bearish engulfing candle as simple as that i'm not the one fabricating this it's already there i'm just making you to be able to see it please 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 i want you to let me know on the comment section let me know on the comment section i want you to be able to go to your mt5 to your mt4 or your mt5 at the end of this video and tell me the number of signals the number of signals you were able to come up with just using this explanation on this video please try to do me try to do this and let me know and if you're already on my telegram channel if you're on my telegram channel obviously on my telegram channel the video will be there also let me know on the comment on the video on the telegram channel how many signals you were able to generate how many peeps you would have made how many millions you would have made how many properties you would have made if you knew how to do this all right it's not yet late at least it's not yet late i'm able to I, I, you should be able to thank god i'm here to give you the information now because from here onward you will be able to generate your, your own signals and that is what i'm happy that is what i'm proud of because the main reason why i'm here is because to be able to help another person to be able to impact another life so by the end of this video at least you'll be able to generate your own signals all right so that is the main reason why i'm here and if at the end of this video you are able to generate your own signals then i'll be the happiest person on earth all right so this is already our text signal that would have taken that same day and when people give you signals to buy uh buy uh great britain pound uh, aud uh, tpds tp stands for take profit sled stands for stop loss this is how they generate the signals no other shortcut this is how they generate the signals and 80 percent of those people even give you those signals they don't know it detailly they don't know candlesticks detailly and even if they they, they knew candlestick patterns detailly they don't know the dynamics detailly but now you don't only know of candlesticks you know of the dynamics you know of the fake signals because there are some of the signals that are fake there are some of the signals that are trickish there are some of the signals that you actually think maybe this is a signal but it is it is what we call stop loss hunting and we the combination you'll be able to choose the right one all right here we were already at our resistance coming back again coming back you can see see what happened yet i can i can emphasize this a lot i can emphasize this a lot let me put our support here see what happened here i can emphasize this a lot see we were some where we already had another signal here and we saw somewhere here our take profit was somewhere here our stop loss was somewhere here so the market keep going down by the time the market got here at this particular level would have already been out and by the time you are out you the game is not yet over the game is not yet over because by the time you are out of that trade the trade the market has already come back to a support to the support level so you see how it is very very important for you to be able to know how to draw support and resistance accurately that is why in our previous videos i'll be able to show you how to draw sniper sniper support and resistance small support and resistance that work like this you can see how this support and resistance is working it's because i i know how to draw them and if you know how to draw them your signals will be able to, you'll be able to have accurate signals all right so come with me after we had the text signal here the, 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 your trade was already closed you already bang your money was already in your bank account or the pips were already there now 
our next trade, the last trade we spoke about, the pattern, the, the candlestick pattern that formed that trade was what we call the bearish engulfing candle or the bearish engulfing candlestick pattern. See what happened. See what happened after that, guys. See what happened after that. After, you've, you, after you got to a particular support, what happened? See this. What kind of pattern is this? You see this candle, and then this long candle that completely swallows or completely engulfs this one. What kind of candle is this? And if it happens, it occurs at a potential support. If it occurs at a potential support and you see a bullish candle that completely engulfs a bearish candle, what kind of what kind of pattern is that? That is a bullish engulfing candle. A bullish, bullish engulfing, right? Engulfing uh, candle. And anytime you see a bullish engulfing candle at a potential support, you have to buy without even thinking twice. You have to buy. So you would have bought somewhere here, but you put your, your, your stop loss somewhere here and your take profit. So even if you are conservative and you want to just go for one is to five, your take profit will be somewhere here and see what happened. Immediately your take profit was here. Boom. Within about four or within about, if this, okay, this is a four hour time frame. So within two days, because each of these candles stands for four hours, four hours, four, so within 15 year and year was eight hours, uh, 12 hours. So from year to year was just about two days. So within two days, you already hit your take profit of about 80 pips. That is that. If you can make just 80 pips per month and you know what you are doing, it just depends now on your account balance. You can be make, you can become a millionaire just with those number of pips. If just imagine you are trading a $100,000 account and you make just 80,000 profit and you're using just 10 lot size, that's already more than $30,000 or just the most important thing is knowing how to make the pips conservatively and consistently, all right? See how this thing is very nice. This, this is another pattern that you would have used. And this pattern is what? A bullish engulfing pattern, all right? So I've just, this, this, if you keep going, if you keep testing and going, you can see this one is a shooting star. This one is a morning star. This one is an, in, in, an inside candle, an indecision candle. And the next one that, uh, uh, so, you will see these candles over and over and over. And I've just used this example to be able to come up with more than, more, with more than, so this is the fourth signal. All right? This is the fourth signal I've generated using just this structure. I've generated, uh, 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 this is the third, I've generated two sales signals, signals, and what? Two buy uh, signals. Two sell signals and two buy signals, and all the signals were positive. All the signals were uh, were all winners. So I had 100% accuracy with those two, with those four signals. If you can have just four signals that are positive, four signals that are all that are all accurate within a week. Trust me, you make that money in Forex. You make that money in Forex. So guys, with that being said, uh, I think uh, let me see if we still have any other thing. Let me see if we still, let me try to minimize this. Uh, good, so with that being said, let's see what we have here. Good. So with that being said, I think we've come to the end of this video. And from my explanation, from what I, I have explained on this video, if you see me with my money gone, know this topic is very, very important. Know this topic is what, if you understand, you'll be able to make that money rain. You'll be able to make that money rain in Forex. So if you see me with my money gone and I'm talking with it, I'm talking about a topic like this. Please guys, take it very, very serious. Take it very, very serious. So now, let me make a recap, all right? At the end of this video, these are the things you should be able to ask yourself. The first thing you should be able to ask yourself, do you know what a candlestick part, do, do you know what is even a candlestick? Do you know how the candlestick was formed? Do you know the evolution, the evolution of candlesticks or why people even use candlesticks? After that, how do you generate signals with candlesticks, all right, with candlestick patterns? When you want to generate signals with candlestick patterns, you use what we call candlestick patterns. 
Well, how many type of patterns are there? We have basic candlestick patterns, which is just a basic, basic formation. We have single candlestick patterns, which you need just one candle to give you a confirmation of a market continuation or a market reversal. You need to, you also have what we call double candlestick pattern or dual candlestick patterns, which you need two candlesticks to either tell you if the market is continuing or reversing. And after you need a triple candlestick patterns, which in that case, you need at least three candlestick patterns to tell you if the market is continuing or the market is changing direction. After that, we've been able to do a live demonstration, which I was able to show you how to generate those signals on your MT5. So the main exercise that I want you to do, please do this exercise for me. So this is the exercise. This is the exercise I want you to do. I want you to be able to open your MT5 and do back testing in as many currency pairs as you can. Do back testing using all these patterns that I've been able to explain. All the patterns I've been able to explain. Try to use them to come up to, to do back testing and go through all the pairs to see the signals that you would have generated, to see the money you'd have made, to see the millions you would have made. So try to do back testing as many times as you can to be able to familiarize yourself with these patterns. And after you've done that back testing, on a live market, when the chart are unfolding, our advice, you can just go with something like a one hour time frame, or even if, no matter the time frame you are using, the candlestick work the same, they work the same. So you can even just use something like the four hour time or the one hour time frame and use a live market. Draw your support, draw your support and resistance or draw your key levels. And when you draw your key levels, as the market gets to those particular level, be able to look for a confirmation. It doesn't mean anytime the market get to a support or resistance, you're gonna either buy or sell. No, there are sometimes the market can add, add, can actually reach in a particular support and you wouldn't take any action when there is no confirmation. So you only take a confirm you only take an action at a support or a resistance if, if there is a confirmation. And what gives you that confirmation is a candlestick pattern. All right. So use now on a live chart, draw your key resistance level, and when the market reach on those key resistance level, look for a confirmation. If you have maybe a full engulfing candle, maybe shooting stars or hanging man or maybe you have uh, three white soldiers or three black crowds or you have a dodgy so try to use all these patterns now to look for a confirmation and come up with a signal so try to to be able to 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 generate your own active signal put your own targets and stuff like that so with that being said on our next videos going ahead i'll teach you how to use how to be able to use support and resistance to pick what we call sniper you know sniper entries you pick them right so i'll be able to teach you how to use support and resistance to pick sniper entries with that being said guys if you've gotten some value from this video which i know you have please leave a thumb leave a thumb up thumb up i keep making so please leave a thumb up on the video please share the video to someone and if you are watching and you haven't subscribed i know you might forget if you are watching and you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button below to be able to subscribe to the channel and if you want to you want to join a community of forex traders that share ideas on a daily basis then check the video description below where i have my telegram uh, channel link on the video description and also join check the link below to be able to check the best forest brokers that i use that you can also use stay profitable stay happy until then i'll be able to see you guys on another video peace Thank <laughs> you.